2FA using a Yubico hardware key. Which one has the right connection for you? Stick around and find out. Hi, I'm Dave with Tech Experts, and I help entrepreneurs to close the gaps that exist across tools needed for your online business. And today we're going to go over the different connection types on the Yubico keys on the Series 5 and figure out which connection types are the right ones for you. But first, let me explain what I mean when I say 2FA. So 2FA stands for two-factor authentication, or means you're adding a second layer or a second method to confirm it's truly you and your identity when you log into your account. Now, this can be done in a variety of different methods. The most popular that you probably commonly used to seeing is called SMS or text message, where you get that little text message with a number code in it that you type into your account and authenticate yourself that way. Now, there's also another method. It's called using a hardware key or a hardware token, and they look like this. This is a Yubico 5 series key, and it has a USB-A connection type on it and NFC, so that's near field communication where you can tap and pay on your phone. This is tap and connect on the Yubico key. But we're going to cover that more in a minute. So let's take a look at the different keys and the different connectors to make sure that we can figure out which ones work best for you for what devices you want to use them with. And there are a variety, and I always recommend you have at least one backup or spare, just like you'd have backup or spare car keys or house keys, you should have a backup or spare Yubico keys. So let's take a look at the chart and see which combinations of keys might be the right fit for all your devices and all your needs. So this is my chart of Yubico keys, and it's the five series keys that we're looking at here. And before we get too far into this chart, I just want to explain how this works. So on the first column of the chart, you're going to see the product, and it'll have the name and a picture with the connection types that it has on it. The second column is going to be your connections. So if it's like USB-A, USB-C, or Lightning, that's what I mean by connections. And the third column will be what it works with, and the fourth column is that NFC that I mentioned before. NFC means that tap and connect method, right? So it's just like your credit card that you have at the checkout or your phone where you tap it on the reader and you pay contactlessly. For this, it's going to be you're going to tap the Yubico key on the back of your mobile device and it'll authenticate through that NFC connection into your account and authenticate your account that way. Otherwise, you'll be plugging them in using one of the connectors to the appropriate device. Now, how does this all work? Well, the device itself, the key itself, generates the codes for you. So rather than getting that code from the text message, it generates the code internally. And whenever you're ready, you just plug it in and tap a button or a tap the gold connectors, and it sends the code through into your account and authenticates your account that way. So let's take a look at how the different choices are and what they're best used for. So the first one on the list we're starting with is a USB-A connector, and that's going to be the Yubico 5 Nano on here. Like I said, it's got USB-A. This is the classic connector you see on a desktop or a laptop. Remember, it's the one that looks like a thumb drive. They've been around for a really long time. So this particular model has no NFC on it. This one is designed to be really small and be put in like a desktop or a machine that isn't ever really moved from where it is, and you just tap on it when you need it when you're sitting next to it. The next one up is going to be the Yubico 5 NFC. So once again, it has a USB-A connector on the end, and the button lets you do NFC. So the NFC means it's going to work on your, well, the USB-A is going to let you work on your desktop and your laptop. The NFC is going to let you work on your iPhone 7 or greater, your Android phones, and your Android uh, tablets that support NFC on them. Next up is going to be the Yubco 5 Series Nano. This one's going to look like it's a long oval, and it has no NFC on it. It is small in design once again. For those new desktops and those new laptops, your Chromebooks, your Android phones and your Android tablets. This one work on with the USB-C. This one was really designed to be put into a machine that is stationary and has a USB-C connection on it so that you can just use it all the time right in that machine. You don't have to worry about taking it out. Now, next up is the Yubico 5C. 
This is the USB connection. It is a little bit bigger than the Nanos. It's more like a small, small thumb drive. It has that loop on it for you to be able to connect it to a uh, keychain. No NFC on this one. So the newest desktops, the newest laptops, Chromebooks, Android phones, and Android tablets. And this one's really designed for you to be able to use on the go where you can plug it into your device and then pull it back out and put it in your pocket and tuck it away and keep going. Now the next one up on the list is also a C. It's a Yubico 5C NFC. So like the one I held up and like the first one we talked about with the UFC, this one has NFC and it has USB-C on it. So you can use it. The newest desktops, the newest laptops, those Chromebooks, the Android phone, the Android tablet, and the iPhone 7 and later. And you can use the NFC on any of those mobile devices as long as it supports them as well. The last one on the list, this is a Yubico 5CI, and this is got a USB-C connection on one end, and the I is a lightning port, as an iPad or iPhone on the other end. No NFC on this, so it'll only work on the newest desktops and the newest laptops, the Chromebooks, the Android phones, the Android tablets, and the iPhones 7 or later, or the or any phone that has a lightning port for iPhone and a lightning port on your iPads as well. So as long as it's got the lightning port, you can use the lightning connection end, and if it's got a USB-C port on it, you can use the USB-C port on that one. It also is designed to be put on a keychain, so it's nice and small, easy to tuck in your pocket and go, and once again, super quick and convenient. Like I said before, I always recommend having a backup or a spare set, and you can use them simultaneously. Basically means like if you have that nano with the on the, the five nano on your desktop, right? And you leave it in place because your machine's never leaving, you can then use one that has a USB C or USB A and NFC on it, put it on your keychain, and then be able to use it on your mobile devices where you're out on the go as well. And that way you can use both at the same time. It also gives you the flexibility that says if something happened and I lost a key, I could continue to use the other one until I order a new replacement. Because once you lose your key, you won't be able to use that method to authenticate unless you have a spare or backup key in place. Now that does cover all the keys and I have them all linked up in the show's description. So if you wanna get one, please click those links and know that there are affiliate links. Now, if you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, maybe you've got some more questions, you can always email me as well. My email address is in the show's description. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give me the big thumbs up, share it with the friends and family, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. I want to keep you subscribed because I want you to be in the know. We have more how do I guides, more tech tips, more reviews, and more things we want you to be in the know about, like what is 2FA and why you need to use it. If you haven't done so yet, please check out my show's description down below. And I have bonus material items in there. I have those videos in there and I have a link to the 2FA directory site. So check out the video in that site for more information on that. As well as I would love to hear what is your favorite Yubico key or what is your favorite two-factor authentication hardware key that you use. Please let me know. Again, I am Dave of Tech Experts and I look forward to working with you.